The hair that I'll be installing is a 14-inch Brazilian curly bob wig by the company Jaja Hair. And in the box, they just gave like this little card. I think it has their information on it and some lashes, which are really cute. So right now, I'm just trying to see like if I cut my bald cap like well enough for the wig. Now I'm just going to put mousse on the hair to flatten it down and I'm going to use a hot comb to do that. So whenever I install a wig, I like to like I like to make the the front of the hair really flat so that the hair is not in the way when I start the gluing process. Sorry, I'm I'm dancing, I'm listening to music, I'm bumping. So sorry for my little craziness in this video. So y'all, I recently just started using Ghost Bond and let me tell y'all, it is really a lifesaver. So I just cut the wig into three different sections so that it's like way much easier to glue it down. So for this gluing process, I'm just going to be putting the Ghost Bond on and using a makeup brush to like spread it out. And this is 10 times easier than just using like the what is it the stick like the popsicle stick thing this is 10 times easier it's like applying makeup or like foundation so yeah and i actually got this method from airy brianna so thank you girl go subscribe to her channel she does like really great hair videos as well and she actually put me onto this method because i never really used this method until i seen her videos So when installing your front toes, you want to make sure that the ghost bond is 100% clear and that it's not white before you place the lace on. So right now I'm just pulling the middle section onto the glue. When I usually place my wigs down, like when I put the lace onto the glue, I like to comb the hairs back just so it gives it more of like a neat look. So that's what I'm doing right now. So obviously, I'm going to be repeating the same thing that I did with the middle section for the two sides of the wig.
So just to make sure that the lace is like really on my forehead, I'm going to be using my Got To Be Glue spray, freeze blast spray. And this is really a lifesaver. Like I use this for everything. I use it to um, hot comb the front of it. I use it to lay my bald cap. Like this is literally a lifesaver. If you don't have this Got To Be Glue freeze blast, then go invest in one because it'll help you. So I didn't record me combing out the hair, but now it's time to wet this bad boy because I'm not leaving it like that, obviously. But I just put water in it. I'm not putting any mousse, just water for now. You can add mousse if you really want the curls to stay, but I'm not really going anywhere. Like in the video, I wasn't really going anywhere. So I just wet it just to see how it'll look. <laughs> So now it is time to get rid of that big old lace. So I'm using like this eyebrow cutter to really like cut along the lines, along the lines, cut along the lace. And I'm being really careful not to cut any of the hair off. But this is way easier than scissors. But I did also use scissors to like get, I don't know, the lifting laces. So like after I cut it off, any lace that was lifting, I just used the scissors to like chop them right off. She 
So since I do not bleach my knots, which I'm about to start doing, guys, so don't worry, I just use um, my contour kit, and I use the same color as my skin, of course, just to make the lace look more natural. So this is me trying to see if, like, half up, half down will be cute, because literally, I want to try something else but side and middle parts. But um, I ended up doing a middle part just for now. And right now I'm putting mousse just to flatten the hair down even more. So as you can see, the wig looks really, really natural. The curls are so soft. Like, they're kinky curls, but they're super soft. And what lace is? If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. I love you all.